Hey guys, welcome back to Blockhead Poker. Today's lesson is about playing too many hands, which in reality is kind of like a disease to a lot of players. You know, it's often a mistake with losing players and goes directly to your own self-control. And really, that's one of the reasons why poker is as much an internal game in your mind as it is a competitive strategy with your opponents. Too many hands is quite often indicative of impatience. And if that is a big part of your character, it must be controlled when playing poker. Today's blockhead is at this table in the early stages here of the Midnight Madness at Full Tilt Poker, and I am sitting here with pocket aces. Since there was an early position limper and several calling stations at this table, I need to raise more than the 2.5 or three big blinds here in order to isolate. The limper himself actually has a 29 VPIP, so I think he's going to call me for sure. So I decide to raise to 210, making the pot 360. A raise this big will also make it difficult for the blinds to call me with anything but, let's say, a top 10 hand here. As you can see, my own preflop raising is a measly 3% here in tournament indicator. Good sign of a pair there if you are paying attention. Well, what do you know? The big blind does call along with the original limper making the pot 660. Let's check to see the big blind stats and oh my god, ew. 5719. The guy the guy likes to play a lot of hands. He could literally have anything here, but when I see a flop like this combined with these types of opponents, Oh, well, let's just figure. Hands like two pair or draws are certainly plausible for them. However, that's not going to change what I need to do here every time, and that is get it all in now on the flop. But, surprise again, since I am in position, I get to see the big blind put out a pot bat while the original limper folds. He sucks anyway. Now, what about this bet? I look to his aggression factor, and it's rather low, actually. So. It seems to me he is either defending top pair or possibly a middle pair in the hole, maybe even something like a7. Now, if he flops a set or two pair, I just don't think he is going to bet that much, if at all, because a check raise would definitely be an option here for him. No, I think he wants everyone out of the pot. There is also a small chance of a draw or complete bluff here with him trying to take me off something like ace-king, but I never count on that, and in reality, even for him, a complete bluff is unlikely. Calling here is committed play anyway for me, so I might as well just shove because obviously he isn't going anywhere. In a bit of a shocker, this guy's OPR is actually showing 18,000 in winnings. What's not so shocking is that he has negative 36% ROI and a rather low in the money rate. To me that proves he gets lucky when he does place, but his winnings are not enough to make him profitable because he just plays too many hands and risks too much in marginal spots like this one. I mean, look, the guy is green M here, and him and I are playing for this big 3,000 chip pot in the early stages of the tournament. Big blind's only 60 right now. He turns over 10 of hearts, 4 of hearts. Oh my god, lots of mistakes there, including calling out of position with a very weak hand against me, a tag player. Then he bets out on the flop with no hand and no draw on the thin and incorrect guess that I just had ace high here. Sadness. The pot is mine and look at that. Two hands later, he blows a tire and is gone even though he still had 1800 chips left. Seriously, how terrible. You know, this guy could actually be a really good player because he does know how to win the occasional tournament. He just has to inject some self-discipline into his game when he builds a big stack, uh, which let's see, after 2300 games doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. There you go, another blockhead. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop by blockheadpoker.com and pick up my free ebook, The Top 10 Mistakes in Online Poker, and how you can win money from the donkeys who will never learn.
Are you kidding me?